Good day everybody and welcome back to DX Explorer for one more video. In the today's video we have a very simple CW transmitter rated for about 700 milliwatts using only one uh, 2N3904 transistor. It's very simple, easy to build, probably less than 10-15 minutes to build and uh, I like the fact that it has uh, great performance and uh, it's very easy to build by beginners so you can build one of these and together with, you, with a very simple uh, region receiver you can start getting on air and do your first QoSOs it has a fixed frequency on uh, 7030 MHz using a crystal as you can tell it's very very simple it only requires a couple of parts um, and <laughs> yeah um, it's definitely a great project for beginners. Uh, please remember, in order to transmit with this one on air, you will need an amateur radio license. If you don't have one and if you want to play around, uh, please feel free to use a dummy load that you can connect on the antenna output and this way you can listen to yourself into a close-by receiver tuned on the same frequency. But don't get in trouble transmitting without a license just because um, you will end up bothering other CW operators trying to do a QSO on the band. So let me just uh, uh, tell you a couple of words about the way I built it and uh, then uh, we can start testing it and see how it sounds and the power output. So because I'm old school, uh, before I'm jumping on the computer to design anything into the software, I'm using a piece of foam and some paper and uh, usually I'm just punching all the components through the paper into the foam and with the help of a pen I'm going to draw the lines um, between the components and this way I get a rough idea on how the little transmitter will look um, at the end and of course now that I'm happy with uh, everything all I have to do is to um, um, go on the computer, design a quick PCB board and then you'll be able to download the files. Probably this weekend I'm going to have the time to uh, write the blog article. I'm going to post all the files in there. So you can either build a PCB board using the toner transfer method or the easiest way is just to order some PCB boards. And talking about ordering PCB boards, stick around for a few seconds and I'll be back with the finished transmitter so we can do some tests and see how it sounds. Are you tired of making homemade PCB boards that don't always come out the way you imagine them to be? Right now you have PCB Way. With excellent PCB prototyping services, all you have to do is to open your account on PCB Way, use the software of your choice to design your PCB board, upload the Gerber files and place your order. Soon you'll end up with professional and excellent looking PCB boards for your projects. PCB Way also offers PCB assembly services, SMD stencils, CNC, 3D printing and even more. PCB Way is the way. The PCB board is done. All I have to do is place the components. Um, I think from the way it looks you understand why lately <laughs> I rather use PCB Way to order my PCB boards. It's nice to do a homemade version for a test and um, like a one-time project but uh, if you have any friends requesting for the same thing you might have to replicate the PCB board and do a bunch of them so I think it's a lot easier to just order them. I already have three friends asking me for this trans transmitter and they don't even know how it works. Uh, they just like it that uh, it's really small. So anyway, let's put the, the components together and do some tests. All right, let's do the smoke test. I connected the dummy load. Um, I connected uh, the power supply. I've tested the receiver. It's set on 7030. I used the true SDX. And now, let's see if it works or not. Smoke test. Haha, such a tiny little thing and it sounds so nice. Yeah, love it. Okay, let's uh, do a power test. Okay, so I've connected uh, the little transmitter to a dummy load. The dummy load has a, an output for the meter and I set up everything for the one watt scale. 
so right now I'm just going to click the key and we're getting just a little bit over 700 milliwatts very nice and what I like the most is that uh, it has no chip beautiful so very very nice uh, simple uh, CW transmitter that uh, probably can build it in less than 15 minutes and uh, you can get on air with 700 milliwatts you can get quite far <laughs> i i like it and uh, my friend um, flood actually asked me for for one so i need to send him a package anyway so i'm going to put one of these transmitters for him as well because he does a lot of uh, cw and uh, yeah hopefully i get to learn the code <laughs> and also do a lot of uh, qso's in uh, cw as well so yeah i'm going to try to minimize it as much as possible and yeah there you go perfect for beginners if you want to try something like a first project a first transmitter project i recommend this one because uh, there's really no headaches with it and you get good results uh, by the way the power output uh, it also depends on the um, amplification factor of your transistor so in the schematic it says 3904 but just so you know maybe you might not get uh, 700 milliwatts because um, not all the transistors are identical uh, even though it's the same type some of them might have a, a bigger amplification factor some of them not so much so you might want to test uh, different transistors and see which one gives you gives you the um, highest power output anyway i hope you liked the video I'm having a lot of fun and I can't, I can't wait to uh, finish the video so I can test it a little bit more. I really like the way it sounds. So yeah, it sounds great. I guess uh, I'll see you probably I'm going to post one more video this uh, Sunday. Uh, Sunday morning Romania time. Um, or maybe Saturday if I have the time. And then um, probably I'll have one more video coming next week. So, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Don't forget, on uh, Sunday I'm going to post uh, the blog article where you can download the files and also you can go to PCB Way and um, order PCB boards from there. And also, I will also finally post the, um, the files for the uh, Sputnik region receiver because I've been a little bit busy with work and I didn't have time to take care of this. So anyway, thanks for watching. Until next time, 73, and have a magical weekend.